Are you wondering what muscles are utilized to increase your vertical jump? You're looking for ways to get a little bit faster, to get a little bit more reactive and to spend less time on the ground. If that's what you're looking for, stay tuned to the rest of this video. What's up everybody, I'm Dane from Garage Strength and I wanna dive deep into the topic of what muscle groups are used or what muscles are utilized to do a strong vertical jump. Okay, so we've got to remember back to our what are plyometrics video and understand that we are looking to we are looking for that stretch shortening cycle. We are looking to maximize that stretch shortening cycle when we are utilizing a vertical jump. And so we need to think about taking a step back even further in the realm of training. And, we've, and we can dive deep into the, the research of Franz Bosch. We can dive deep into Roger Inoka. We can drive, dive deep into Pavo Komi. And that's essentially what has rooted in where all of our data and all of our information that we've collected is all rooted in that research. And that's what's led to the development of the vertical jump manifesto is that now we can take that step back. We understand what the research is saying, and we understand when there is an eccentric portion of a, of a movement, a counter movement, that there is going to be stored kinetic energy, and that the stiffer that the joint tendons are at the bottom of the, of the, of the eccentric movement, the faster we can get out of that amortization phase and the faster that during the amortization slash coupling phase, we can then apply force concentrically. So when we think about that, we take a deeper step back even further and we start to think, okay, typically movements that have an eccentric followed by a concentric movement, they are going to be extensor based muscle groups. Okay. So think about the bench press. If we are, if we are doing an eccentric movement and then that's, and then we have a slight coupling period here, and then that's followed by a concentric movement, we're actually utilizing extensor muscles. So what muscles are we using with the vertical jump? We know that when we are dropping into that counter movement and there's going to be a slight eccentric portion that our quads are going to start to get loaded. Our knees are going to travel forward. And when our knees travel forward, we're going to have dorsiflexion on our ankle joint. So now when we have dorsiflexion on our ankle joint, we know that the Achilles is going to be lengthened and the gastroc is going to be lengthened as well. So the quads are going to be lengthened. And now we feel the hips start to come back. So when the hips are coming back and the knees are coming forward, we also know that our hamstrings and our glutes are going to be lengthened quite a bit. So now we can take that step and sit there and say for certainty, our glutes, our hamstrings, our quads, our gastroc, these are all the muscle groups that are the muscles that are being used to execute a proper vertical jump. But now that we know that, we have to recognize that there's going to be the technical aspect behind improving our vertical jump. It's not as simple as, okay, our gastroc, our calves are involved with, with the vertical jump. So if we do calf raises, we'll get more explosive. If we do leg curls, our hamstrings will now be able to get us to jump higher because we just did leg curls. And now if we do leg extensions, now we can jump higher because our quads are gonna get more pumped. And if we do glute bridges, well, now we're, you know, we, we, we did single leg glute bridges, so now we can jump higher. That's not how it works. So we've got to think about it as a chain and in and, and a, a reactive chain, right? So if we can understand that when the eccentric portion of the, the counter movement jump is being executed in a vertical jump, we're recruiting everything together. And ultimately over time, the faster and shorter that eccentric portion is, the, there's a slight bit more energy that is going to be stored kinetically. And then we are going to have a shorter, ideally have a shorter amortization phase, which will lead to a bigger concentric power output, which leads to a bigger jump if the body weight is the same. So we need to understand what are those muscle groups that we're using. Again, it's the entire posterior chain, hamstrings, glutes, quads, we're gonna be utilizing our entire leg muscles, our, our leg extensors, and we have to constantly focus on increasing our eccentric capability, our eccentric strength, which will lead to more stiffness in our joints, stiffness in the sense that we will be able to absorb force faster, stiffness in our muscles, and that in turn will lead to a more technically executed vertical jump. So it's not as simple as understanding 
what are those muscles that are being used, but it, it also has to dive deep into how are those muscles being utilized and how are they being developed over time. And that's what we've done just for you guys at, at garagestrength.com. You can pick up the Vertical Jump Manifesto. It's a 12 week program where we've had multiple people with 40 plus inch vertical jumps. We've had multiple people jumping over seven feet in the high jump, and it has led to incredible gains. And it's all from the research that we've done on site at Garage Strength, as well as through study and understanding the world of sports performance. So if you want to check out that information, head over to garagestrength.com. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share this video all over the internet. Peace.